Hi friends, I'm Cheryl. Welcome to my channel. I am here today and as I record this video, it is August 15th, which is the Feast of the Assumption of Mary. And this particular feast Speaking of the Assumption of Mother Mary really speaks to me of how um, Mary, the Mother of God, was brought into this world to heal the wounds of Eve. And it is thought and believed that it was an immaculate conception that she had with Jesus, but that she also was born without sin. And that at the end of her life, she was just brought into heaven, body and soul. And it's a beautiful image to think that Mother Mary immediately went to heaven. It's a wonderful acknowledgement of her role. Um, on this particular feast day, I'm going to complete my trust series. We have two petitions left. And they are that you are my Lord and my God. Jesus, I trust in you. That I am your beloved one. Jesus, I trust in you. That you are my Lord and my God. What does that mean to you? To me, that you are my Lord and my God, Jesus, I trust in you, is saying that I am willing to surrender to you, that I can see you in that role of having um, I'm hearing the word authority, but not authority from the perspective of a negative thing, but more the authority of um, a loving father, a loving parent. And so, that you are my Lord and my God is an acknowledgement of our willingness to go all in. I'm actually reminded of um, in Catholic wedding vows when you exchange those vows and you enter into the covenant that the language used to 
refer to being submissive to wives you would be submissive to your husbands and a lot of a lot of um, a lot of people found that objectionable um, but if you look at the verse wives that you will be submissive to your husbands husbands you will treat your wife as your church. It's a beautiful reciprocation, reciprocal, reciprocal relationship. And that's the kind of feeling that I get that you are my Lord and my God, that I'm gonna give everything to you because I know you're giving everything to me. that I am your beloved one. And again, I'm taken back to um, the, the feeling of, of how it is in a marriage vow, that, that I am your beloved one, that I am giving everything to you because I know I am your beloved one and you are giving everything to me. I am loved, I am cherished, I am your beloved one. When we think of being someone's beloved, we think of the commitment we think of them always being there for us. We think of feeling safe. Feeling like we can always trust. And that's the feeling that I have thinking that I am your beloved one. Jesus, I trust in you. I trust in you. So that's what I have. And I'm so happy to finish this trust series on this very special day that's dedicated to Mother Mary. I hope that you have enjoyed this series and uh, I'll let you know soon what's next. <laughs>